Hello and welcome back to our channel. We're here today at Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument, the 14th stop on our journey to visit all 400 plus national park units in the US. What's special about this park is that it is the only place in the United States where you can see the organ pipe cactus in its natural habitat. It is also UNESCO International Biosphere Reserve. As always, we start our visit at the visitor center, here named as Chris Eggle Visitor Center. In 2002, park ranger Chris Eggle was shot and killed by a suspected drug smuggler during a US Border Patrol operation. As a result, 70% of the monument was closed between 2003 and 2014. The visitor center was renamed in his honor. During that time, a new vehicle barrier was installed, a pedestrian fence was constructed around the Louisville port of entry, new border technology was deployed, and Ajo Border Patrol Station was expanded. There are now 500 Border Patrol agents stationed in Ajo, a 20-fold increase. Finally, on September 15, 2014, the area was deemed safe enough that Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument was fully reopened. Today, the armed guards have gone, but National Park Service staff educates visitors about the area so they can decide whether they feel comfortable exploring the backcountry. Nowadays, the biggest risk to visitors are likely dehydration and rattlesnakes. This is a barrel cactus with the fruit on top. After the visitor center, we got uh, situated at the Twin Peaks campground and so far it looks amazing. And now we'll head out and do the Ajo Mountain Drive. Ajo Mountain Drive is the most popular scenic drive in the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. The 21 mile drive is mostly on a dirt road, but a normal two wheel drive car would have no problems. However, RVs over 24 feet are prohibited. I highly recommend picking up the free Ajo Mountain Guide guidebook from the visitor center. It has information that corresponds to markers along the road. We stop frequently at these markers to learn about the area and take photos. The Ajo Mountain Drive is worth it just for the drive around but there are also several trailheads along the road. Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument preserves 517 square mile area, which is a pristine example of the Sonoran Desert. So we are in a Sonoran Desert. How many deserts are there in the United States? Before we've seen the Chihuahua Desert, this is Sonoran Desert, what are the other two? So the other two deserts are Great Basin Desert and Mojave Desert. This is a Oregon Pipe Cactus. But it looks interesting. It has this crested growth on it, and scientists don't know why it is that way. Uh, some guesses are that it could be because of the frost, or it could be because of genetic mutation. Look what we found. We found a blooming cactus. This is the first cacti flowers that we have seen. finished the arch trail hike off of the Ajo mountain drive. We just went 0.6 miles in and 0.6 miles out and it was beautiful. It was covered with wildflowers and we even saw a cactus with the flowers too. We're just past stop number 11 on the Ajo mountain drive and we're parked here now after a brief respite in the car with the AC because it's pretty warm out here. We're going to do the Estes Canyon trail and this is about a 2.6 mile circular loop but there is an option for another little sort of half mile in, half mile back spur about halfway around, which would make it 3.6 miles. Let's go. Here we have the namesake of the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument, the Oregon Pipe Cactus. It was named by the early Europeans that arrived to this area, and for them, 
the dry carcasses of this cactus reminded the organs. That's why they called it organ pipe cactus. Fun fact, these cacti bloom, but they bloom only at night. This is so that they can preserve water. Let's take a closer look at this organ pipe cactus, shall we? This is a teddy bear choya. Look how tall they are, even taller than me. Check out this one. Looks like this one has a nest in it. The choya protects the bird. We've made it here to the top. We took the extra little spur and we've come all the way up to the viewpoint here, which is the highest point on this hike. And you know what that means? It's all downhill from here. finished the Estes Canyon and Bull Canyon loop. We went to the viewpoint and back. It was four miles and uh, just about two and a half hours. We made it back to the camp before dark. We managed to do both hikes and the whole Ajo mountain drive loop in four and a half hours. Tomorrow's going to be another early start. We're going to get up nice and early and hopefully do a hike right around dawn and then do a sunset hike later on in the day. So that's going to be really good fun. And then finally, our third day here, third and final day here, we're going to go out off-roading. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see the next one. Go. Okay. Look, baby organs. Look, <laughs> organ by cactus with baby arms coming out. I don't even know their arms. They're not called baby organs, that's all I know. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Another fun fact, they do bloom, but they only bloom at night. This is so that they preserve the water and don't have to... whatever. <laughs> These cacti bloom, but they bloom only at night. This is so that they... I don't know what they... Like to preserve water. To preserve water.